Hey guys, it's Justine, and I kind of saw this news today, or it's been rumored for quite a while that Apple is going to be announcing a mixed reality headset, and I'm checking out right here on Mac Rumors. They're saying that they're actually set to announce this in the next couple of months at an, oh, hold on, in-person event. <gasps> I am just as shook and shocked as you are. I do feel like at some point we are gonna have to kind of test the waters of what do in-person events look like. And I think if anybody is going to be able to test this out and figure out a really good model, or even when you get to the event, you have to do some sort of rapid COVID test to even enter. I'm not really sure, but it's gonna be really interesting to see kind of how this whole new world sort of evolves out of what this last year has presented us. But me, as someone who sometimes does get a little motion sickness in VR, it's unfortunate because I love it so much. And I think that's why I kind of like augmented reality because I'm not kind of enclosed inside of a headset. I don't feel so constricted. And a lot of the headsets, they're not uncomfortable, especially with like the Quest headsets. They're actually very comfortable. If you guys remember not too long ago, these types of headsets, you had to be connected to a piece. There were cables, it was heavy. Sometimes you'd have to wear a backpack with limited battery power. So now kind of bringing this to the masses like Oculus has done is kind of exciting. And I know obviously there's been a lot of drama with the Oculus because of Facebook needing to authenticate. So it's gonna be interesting how Apple kind of handles this, obviously with a lot of their new privacy policies in the app store with their nutrition labels. I know that also stemmed a lot of drama from a lot of devs because they didn't really wanna disclose all of the information that they have been gathering from us. So I do very much appreciate knowing how much information is actually given out to people. But in this article, it's saying that Bloomberg had previously reported that Apple's first AR VR headset would be a high-end, pricey, and niche device aimed at developers. Internally, Apple believes it could sell just one headset per day at its retail locations. 180 units a year at its 500 stores? I mean, math. That says rumored to have dual 8K displays, eye tracking, and more than a dozen cameras for tracking hand movements, which is gonna be kind of cool. And one of the things that I really did like about the Quest is when you kind of turned on, I don't know what they call it exactly, but it's like the mode where you can kind of see around you. I think Apple's gonna hopefully do a lot kind of in sort of that vein because they've been pushing augmented reality so much over the past couple of years. And I think that Really, with whatever this headset is, if it's small, if it's a pair of wearable glasses, that's gonna be the future, it really is. I just don't think that they're gonna be able to make it that significantly smaller than the Oculus Quest, especially if they plan on packing all of this tech inside of it. One thing that kind of sparked my interest though with this article is because WWDC is coming up. They officially announced that it's happening July 7th through 11th and it's gonna be all digital, all virtual, but this is kind of where developers really get a sense of what the next few years are gonna look like with Apple. So it would make sense that they pre-announce this just to let us all know that this is something that is in the works and get these headsets to developers immediately because without having developers developing specifically for this type of headset, it's gonna be really difficult to even want to own it without having content. I mean, even Oculus, yes, there's a lot of content, but there's still I don't think is enough for like the mass audience of people to be like, this is something that I need to have in my house. We're gonna be using it every day. There's enough content here that I can basically live inside a VR AR. It's not quite there. And I think that's okay. I think we are a few years away from this kind of a staple of a household where everybody does have something in their home like this. Getting this out now, potentially in June is gonna be amazing. Did I say July or did I say June? Last year, they kind of had to scramble and get this all together. Whereas now they've had a full year to plan and know that this is gonna be digital only. I would love to hear from you guys though in the comments, like what are you expecting? I feel like initially when we first started seeing these headset kind of rumors, we were all sort of picturing some sort of like Google Glass type thing, which I really loved Google Glass. Like I thought it was cool. It kind of a small little heads up display and you could kind of just integrate it into your everyday life. I'm still holding out for something like that from Apple, but I do think them kind of taking this leap into the VR, AR space with a headset, like something similar to Oculus Quest is exciting. So I know I'll be looking out for it. What about you? I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video if you enjoyed it and leave a comment below so that I can chat with you guys in the comments.